Rouge and played games there. Uh, how would you describe it to some of the younger guys who have yet to play a game there? Oh, Alex Box, awesome, awesome atmosphere down there. Um, I'd say it's probably the second or third uh, best college stadium in mm. college baseball. Um, you know, the experience down there last year was just absolutely amazing. It kind of, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand with their the rowdy crowd and you know the way their stadium set up and everything kind of allows them to have a little bit of craziness down there in Baton Rouge. So. What did it, what does it mean for you to be on Team USA? I know that's a that's a pretty oh. big honor and it hadn't been once since Adam Frazier. I mean, I don't even know how to put it into words. I'm just honored and just excited to be out there with the best you know collegiate players in the in the nation. Um, I feel like. Um, I, mean, I, don't, I really don't even know what to say, honestly. I'm just overwhelmed with the opportunity, and I feel like um, it's going to be a good uh, experience for me. Um, I'm just tremendously honored. When did you get that invite? Um, actually, I got told, what was it, the day after I pitched against USC, um, Coach Gamzera announced it's the team. Um, but he said that they knew a couple couple days before that, and I, I mean, they announced the team right after USC. So it didn't take much thought to accept it? Oh no! Heck, no. I mean, you get something like that, and you're, I mean, it's you're going. I mean, you're not gonna sit there and hesitate or anything like that. I mean, it's an honor just to put on USA. So you guys have obviously had some adversity this year, most recently this way, so we can't overcome it. And things we, we've dealt with Andy a lot and seen his personality, and it just seems always upbeat and things. It, it's can you just kind of describe what he's been like through all the, the ups and downs that this team's gone through this year? Well, we've worked together. You know, he's worked with us. We've worked with him. Um, you know, with all the injuries and all the the stuff that's been happening off the field and with the team and everything, how short it is, how short hands we are pitching wise. Um, I feel like Coach Gunther, I mean, he's handling it really well. Um, being a first year coach, um, I love him to death, and I know he really pours his heart for his team. Um, there's been a lot of ups and downs, like I said, uh, but I feel like he's dealt with them really, really, really well and handled his business. Uh, like my head coach. So. How how has Josh Lovelady helped you as a pitcher the last couple of years, especially this season when you actually been able to, to throw to him? Josh, I mean, that dude, he serves like a Marine in the service. Uh, catching games after games after games after games. He caught, what, five games in a row this weekend. Um, I mean, he, when he comes up to the mound, it's, it's, the same old, it's the same old conversation. Hey, man, you got it? Slow your heart rate down. You know, he's the him being a senior and everything, him being a vet in this league, um, really helps me and really help. I feel like he helps like the uh, younger guys too, um, with like kind of talking them down and everything. He really, he really uh, is smart about everything he does. He goes about his business like a man. Um, Josh is just an undivided, like he just he serves our team really, really well. Have you, he handles everybody differently, like mm -hmm. catchers do. Have you ever seen him just chew some guy out because oh, it was yeah. the right time, right oh, he'll, place? He'll, he'll let you know when you ain't doing something right, when you you know you yanking a fastball. Or, uh, I guess not scared, mm -hmm. but if you're like pitching, like you're scared, mm -hmm. timid, or anything, he's gonna let you know. I mean, he's not he's not scared of anything, and that's that's why I love him on the dish. And it's a pitcher on this team. What's it like to have a guy like Brent Rooker on your team? Oh. <laughs> Larry, you you don't have to face him. <laughs> yeah, I mean Brent. He's, I mean, he's awesome. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's got so many honors this year. You know, he's the best player in the SEC. Um, I mean, having somebody like that on your team is really huge for a team like we're having this year. You know, a young team, and then for somebody to come out like there and just have a stand that year, right before this draft too, um, it's just it's just awesome. As a as a pitcher, what's the difference in him from last year to this year? Um, I feel like he's really grown up uh, swinging at the slider in the dirt. That's one. I mean, that's one of the major things I've uh, thought about from last from his last season and this season. I feel like last year every slider in the dirt you threw him, he'd swing over top of every single time. But now he's laying off of that, and then when they throw him, on, uh, you know, get me over a slider and for a strike, he's boom hitting the four on the foot. You know, he's it's, it's really seen the ball really well this year. Andy said that you guys keep using that prove the doubters wrong. Every game, you know, taking that underdog mentality. Do you you take that again into this week? I mean, you're going to mm -hmm. a national seed. Yeah, I take it personally every single day. Uh, you know, I, I tweeted out after we won the regional. Uh, the BPI uh, gave a 6.8% chance of winning that regional. 
I mean, everybody took that <coughs> part. Everybody took that personally. So, how do you approach this week now? Same way. You know, we got a lot. We got a lot going for us. Um, you know, we got a lot of uh, vengeance coming from um, LSU coming in here and sweeping us at home. So I feel like if we can go down there with enough heart and pride and overcome the crowd and everything, I feel like we can pull two. How do, you, how do you attack their batting order now that you've seen them firsthand this season? Um, I, I got throw all three pitches for strikes. You know, I had a big, uh, I had a big problem with that the first time I faced them. Even though I only gave up two runs, I couldn't throw my slider for a strike. Couldn't throw my changeup. So all I had was fastball. You know, they're they're gonna hit the fastball. I mean, they can hit and they can hit and they can hit. And they're gonna hit a fastball no matter where you can put it on the plate. You gotta be able to throw all three pitches for strikes. Henderson said before the year you needed to be able to to be more effective outside of your fastball. How do you feel like you've developed those other pitches this season? I feel like I've developed them good. Um, change, I haven't thrown my change as much as I've wanted to this year, but that hasn't really stopped the fact that I can still move the fastball in and out, uh, throwing a slider for a strike when I need to now and throwing it in dirt. When you get the Team USA stuff done, will you try to pitch other summer ball? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll shut it down for the, rest of the, for the rest of the summer and probably the first half of the fall. I don't really know, honestly. But, uh, me and Coach Henderson hasn't really talked about it yet. Going back to Josh and what he does for everyone on the team, what was the reaction like when he bounced one off the banner and left? Oh, the first home run last year, regional. I mean, that's I mean that right, that right there is just it's just crazy. He come he come back in the dugout just nuts. He come back. I mean, everybody was going crazy in the dugout. It was just awesome. We was all fired up for him. We was all pumped for him. We was proud of him. You know, for everything he does and um, for him to hit a home run off the whatever you want, kind of a little wall thing, a banner, whatever, uh, which is awesome. What was it like watching Jacob Billingsley, a guy who's struggled to establish himself as a starter this year, to go out and give you all nine innings under that do-or-die pressure? So proud of him. Um, with him, you know, with him being a senior this year, I'm just absolutely just proud of him. You know, he's overcame a lot of uh, adversity with his pitches and everything this year, and I feel like he needed it. He was, I mean, he was due for that outing, so.